Oil prices have seen upward movement in the last few weeks. But will this trend benefit EPC contractors in the Middle East? I'm Neha Bhatia and with me to shed light on the region's energy sector is Carla Certain, editor of Oil & Gas Middle East. Welcome to Construction Week in Focus. Carla, please bring us up to speed with how oil prices have changed recently and what this means for EPC contractors and their businesses. Yeah, um, so recently we've seen a really dramatic increase in oil prices. Um, on October 3rd, Brent crude hit its four-year high at $86 per barrel, uh, which is quite dramatic when we look back just a few years ago, you know, we were scraping the bottom of the barrel, so to speak, $40 per barrel. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a, an interesting time, and for EPC contractors as well, not just operators. Um, now, the effect it'll have on contractors really depends on which segment of the market um, they're operating in, whether that's upstream or downstream. So for upstream contractors, this is pretty good news because operators have more money to spend on uh, development projects, redevelopment projects, um, and you know when prices are lower, there tends to be more delay and uh, cancellation of projects. So for contractors in the upstream segment, this is pretty good news. Um, downstream, it's mixed, so it really depends on the region. Um, for North America, it was pretty bad news when uh, prices were low. For Europe, profit margins went up, so uh, it really does depend. Um, but from the upstream segment, which is what we focus on, this is all across the board. This is really good news for contractors. So this is obviously going to be one of the trends this year that affects how business will be for EPC contractors in 2019. But what have some of the other trends been this year, bearing in mind that 2018 until October oil prices weren't quite as um, desirable as some companies might have wanted them? So um, what have you seen in the run up to October and what can we look forward to in 2019? Well, so throughout 2018, there has been a mild recovery in prices, obviously not as dramatic as in the past few weeks, although I will say that prices are back down to $80 per barrel. Um, but some of the trends we see really are digitalization. People want to focus on um, optimizing their operations, making sure that they're as efficient as possible. I mean, there are no operators out there, there are no contractors out there that have forgotten the days of $40 a barrel. So um, there's still a, a really strong focus on keeping costs low and keeping efficiency as high as possible, and digitalization really plays into that. And we've seen that in a number of projects this year. Um, a few other trends might be um, a focus on diversifying uh, you know, the, the offering that you know, contractors have. So not just focusing on upstream or downstream, but um, trying to diversify that. For example, McDermott's merger with CB&I um, to provide a more full stream offering. So that's something that they're looking at because it's, it's more desirable. Just simply, it's more desirable to be able to service the entire um, value chain in oil and gas. So that's another thing that we're seeing and I think will carry on um, in 2019. Okay, last question. I know a lot of our viewers are gonna be very um, intrigued by this. Saudi Aramco and Adnoc, obviously two of the Middle East's largest oil companies, certainly in the world as well, they've kept the EPC contractors in the Middle East quite busy this year. Um, just a couple of days ago, Adnoc also diversified its business, like you said. Um, it's going to now become a full-fledged construction operator, a uh, construction service provider, to put it more precisely. Yeah. Um, do you think these companies and their projects will continue to um, continue to grow in 2019? Do you think we'll see more from Saudi Aramco, more from Adnoc, and also bearing in mind that they're moving outside the Middle East and looking at markets like India? Yeah, absolutely. No, I think that's absolutely true. That's a, and actually that speaks to the point that um, we were talking about earlier. They're not just expanding regionally, they're also expanding their offering as well. You know, you see a really strong bent in Saudi Aramco towards downstream. You know, the petrochemical complex, Jubail hmm. petrochemical complex, its acquisition or its pending acquisition of Sabic. So these are really big trends that we're seeing and that's going to affect contractors and the kind of work that they're being offered. And another big trend, which we're gonna to continue to see, is redevelopment projects. That's huge for Saudi Ramco. There's Marjan, Buri, Safania, and a bunch of others. I mean, uh, six EPC contractors have already been pre-qualified for um, the Buri yeah. uh, offshore oil field increment program. So that's something that we're gonna to continue to see, and I, I don't see it stopping anytime soon, especially if oil prices do hold, at least at around the $80 mark. But like, you know, you, it's difficult to predict where oil prices are going to go. 
analysts are across the board saying different things. $100 oil by uh, New Year's, others are saying between 60 and 80. So it's difficult to predict. Um, but if oil prices stay um, above the $60 mark, closer to 80, um, I do believe we're going to continue to see uh, a lot of activity for EPC contractors in the oil and gas sector. Exciting times ahead. Thanks very much, Carla. You've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We are pleased to be giving away a limited number of MR vouchers worth 500 dirhams to spend at a range of fantastic places in Dubai. To get your hands on one of these vouchers, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like a video, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends and colleagues. Winners will be contacted directly by Construction Week. If you've enjoyed this video and want to know more about the Middle East's oil and gas and EPC markets, then please remember to subscribe to our sister channel on YouTube, Oil and Gas Middle East as well. Don't forget that we publish new episodes of Construction Week in Focus right here every Tuesday at 9am. Thanks very much for watching. Until then, goodbye.